I'm here with a different video. In this video, we have a Lenovo gaming laptop. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad L340 Gaming. This one comes with an Intel iCore 5 9th Gen and GTX 1050, in some cases 1060 up to 1070. And this one has an 8 gig of the RAM and also it has a one terabyte mechanical drive. What we want to do in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to replace your battery for this model. It's very simple. All you need to do is flip over your laptop upside down and you want to remove all the screws at the bottom cover. I already removed them. All the screws are the same size and height. It's a Phillips number zero. If you're using an iFixit toolset, it's a screwdriver Phillips number zero. Now that uh, you removed all the screws on the bottom cover, what you want to do? You want to grab yourself a guitar pick. The reason I use a guitar pick is because it has a really soft edges. It will not cut through your skin, nor it will scratch the uh, plastic because it's really soft and round. It's not like any other opening tools that they have a really sharp edges and it's really thick, really tough, I mean. So what you want to do, you want to open up your laptop in 45 degree angle and you want to stick the guitar pick right between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And you want to open it like as you opening a bottle can, like that, just twist it. Do the sides. All right, now you can close it. Uh, what you want to do, you want to grab the bottom cover because there's a little hinges back here. And you want to just wiggle it around, twist it a little bit, and it will eventually will come out because it has to loosen up this, the clips at the back. All right, now down here, the battery is in the front of the laptop to compensate the weight of the screen. So they put it in the front end and it will not overheat for the arm rest. So in order to remove the battery, there's one, two, three, four, five screws to remove. So remove the five screws. Right there. Once you remove the screws, you can lift up the battery and to disconnect the battery, now you have a little more space to pull the jack. So you, what you want to do, and people usually tend to pull this jack with the cables. Do not do that. Do not pull the cables. That's why on the jack, if you pay attention, let me grab my tweezers. If I can find my tweezers where I left them. There it is. So if you can pay attention, there's a tiny hinge right there, tiny space right there. So what you want to do, you want to pull this one backward, pull this one backward, just like that. That's all you have to do. And the model number for this one, it's model name L18C3PF1. So that's the model number for this battery. I'll leave the link in the description if I can find a seller. This battery right here is a CMOS battery. This one holds the configuration date and time for your BIOS. There's a tiny jack there. You can purchase this one too. The part number is right here. You can put a pause and watch the long number. This one lasts about five, six years. So you do not need to change this one at the moment. Anyway, once you got the new battery in here, what you want to do, align the jack and then pull the jack toward the connector. Place it right in there and put all the screws that you removed. So I'm putting the same screws that we removed. So one, two, three, four, 
five screws. One, two, three, four, five screws. Once you got the screws in there, all you need to do, last part, grab the bottom cover, place it right on top, and then you wanna push down on the sides and on the front end. If you see any opening like this, you just wanna pinch it and go all around. Make sure everything is nice and pinched. The back. And the last thing will be to just place all the screws that you remove on the bottom side. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it and it helped you guys out, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you have any requests or comments, you know where to leave them. And if you subscribe, it really helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.